Welcome to Enlightened World Network. I'm Dr. Ruth Anderson here with my beautiful soul sister, Terry Angel. I'm actually really here. Really uh, here. <laughs> yeah. We are um, doing a silent meditation today for our meditation today on the Enlightened World. And we're going to try really hard to like stay in the photo, but it may not always happen. We invite you to join us in meditation. For the silent meditation, Terry plays some nice music. You all meditate with us along if you would. And we go off screen, we meditate together. And then we come back on in 20, 25 minutes and share with you what we experienced. There's always something fascinating that we've experienced with our guides and um, archangels. So we would love for you to join us. This is such a fascinating time in the world, don't you think, Terry? Absolutely. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, I just think with everything that's happening around us, it is the perfect time to go inward and upward and hear what guidance we receive. So thank you for joining us, and we'll see you in about 25 minutes. meditation, Ruth and I sat with some other world beings and some divinity that came in to help us to try to put together what's happening at this time in our, our earth time. And from what we can gather, we are going into this new earth that we were being shown is forming, just like when a star forms it, it doesn't happen all at once. It's a process. And in that process, we're able to watch as that star changes colors, as it goes through the, the formation part of it, it shifts and changes. That's what's happening on our earth plane. We're shifting, we're changing. We saw a lot of orange that was there. We saw green. So we're trying to just really be very diligent at tuning in for the messages because we don't know everything. We don't know really anything yet other than we are being shown things and we're being told. And it, it feels like we're just being taught. We're in the school and we're being um, given this information as fast as we can process it. Or faster. Now faster. <laughs> and we're trying to just put it all together and put it down in words and put it in a, a way that we're able to share that with you more intelligently, <laughs> probably than what I'm doing right now. But um, Ruth, does that kind of describe what our meditation was? <laughs> I just disappeared. <laughs> Apparently, Terry, you're on your own. Talking. <laughs> um, yes, and I, you know, one of the messages from this morning is, I really do believe that we are having more awareness of folks here on the planet that may not have originated here on the planet. And some of them are friends that we know, might be family members that you know, and, and the veil is just sort of being lifted to that. So that's one thing. Another thing is we're also being visited by other worldly beings that we don't know. And Terry and I have been having the conversation of well, does that mean you just let anybody in to your personal space? And the answer to that is no. In the same way that we are discerning when we listen to anything, even when you meet a new angel or you meet a new archangel, you ask the questions, is this in your best and highest good? And if it does not feel like a good vibrational frequency match to you, the answer is no. You don't just let them in. So that's crucially important. It is. Setting boundaries. Setting your boundaries. Just like you would with a physical person that's right beside, right <laughs> beside of you. Um, you're going to set boundaries with that person. And they know what the boundaries are because of the interactions that you have. And it's the same with any energetic being. You want to make sure that they are of love and light, that they are from pure source, from God, 
And when we talk about these otherworldly beings, everything is part of the oneness. So everything that exists is part of what was created from our creator. But just ask the question, are you of love and light? Are you bringing in love or are you bringing in some of the darkness, some of the contrast that we are here to experience as well as light? So that's, that's how you set a boundary. You ask the questions. You feel into it intuitively also with your energy. And you invite in your guides to be sitting there right next to you Hello. <laughs> to have that conversation. Yeah, so really important message from this morning. Another, <laughs> another it keeps shifting, no I matter know. where I go, that's okay. Um, another important message from this morning is that all that we are learning may require us to expand, expand in our understanding of in meditation. So this morning we were needing to go up higher, higher vibrationally, which is, I mean, we when we meditate, we go pretty high. And this was requesting that we go higher, higher, higher. And so I guess I'm just hearing that which you know to be true, be prepared to expand, if you will. Yeah, because one of the things, what well, I've been shown, we've been shown already, like colors. There are colors other than what we are aware of. And now today we heard there are notes, frequencies, sounds that we are not yet aware of. But this is what's coming forth with all of this energy for the new earth. So yes, the expansion, that's the word of the day, I think, for us to expand, not just out, but to expand upward. Anything else, Ruth? And I want to say hello to Danielle. Hi, Danielle, thank you for coming on. And Grace Isis. Grace Isis, Jasmine, thank you all for being here. And if I think we really sit with those colors, the orange and the green, of course, we are thinking about the chakra system and the heart space and the second chakra represented by orange with the creativity and the emotions. And this, this space of the new earth that we were being shown and goosebumps, and I don't even know where I'm going with the rest of the sentence, um, really is connecting in with, with what is coming in for EWN, third channel, one with the earth. So we're anxiously hearing what this is meaning for us, but, but this requires all of us to be on our A game. It requires that we don't get bogged down and distracted by the 3D and whatever is happening here. It really is requiring us to be at our best, available, willing to work with our guides, whatever they're bringing in to us. So I encourage all of you, rise up. That's what we keep being asked to do, rise up. And be open-minded. That's the other thing. Don't just shut down an idea because it sounds foreign to you. Explore. And ask the ask the questions, the all important questions. This is for my best and highest good. And you'll get the answers. Well, and the other part of that question, Terry, is this for the best and highest good of humanity? Of humanity of all. It's, it's, you, we're not just playing in our own playground right. games. This is on behalf of the planet. Mm -hmm. yeah. It sure is. So we hope that you had a great time with us today <laughs> and that your mind was expanded. And um, we'll be bringing more information forward about this because it's, it's huge and there's a lot going on with it. And so, it's here. And it's here. And it's here. Yeah, it's happening. So much love to each and every one of you. Thank you for being here, whether you're listening to this live or after the fact. And there is so much growth here at Enlightened World Network. We're just trying to keep up with you all. Um, yesterday, Danielle Prue launched EWM Francais and is a bilingual French-English channel. 
and we're hoping to expand that. We're hoping to expand to Italian, um, Spanish for sure, and other languages as well. This is one world coming together in a spiritual, transformative way. And we are very happy to provide that platform for that to happen. So if this resonates with you, if you are um, bilingual in another language and are feeling the desire to step up in more of a leadership role with EWN, just reach out to Terry or me. We would love to have the conversation. We see the vision of where it's going and it's just a matter of watching it roll in. So if you're part of that rolling in, please reach out. Absolutely. Thank you all again for being here. So much love to all of you.